Hi everyone, it's Rachel and Anthony Hello. from Don't Crop Me Now. I thought I'd show you um, how we start our parsnip needs in toilet rolls. So this is quite a controversial method because a lot of people say that root crops, particularly parsnips, don't like being transplanted. So obviously there, there definitely is an element of truth to that. If if you imagine a parsnip's big and long, it needs that tap root to go right down if you want a, a straight, nice, big parsnip. That means that if you transplant them and you disturb that tap root, then they're going to fork and end up like a giant monstrosities, really. So, um, but it is possible to start them in toilet rolls. If you imagine your toilet roll from here, it's got an empty bottom anyway. So once the plant started, there's nothing to stop it growing out there. The key is that you've just got to transplant the plant before the root comes out of here. If the root has started coming out of there, then you know, you're gonna have problems. But if you do it before then, then it's quite a good method. The reason I like starting the parsnips in these toilet rolls is, is really because they've got a really long time to germinate. So you wait ages and ages and ages, they often have quite poor germination rates and you just end up with like loads of gaps in your parsnips if you do it this way you don't have any gaps so that's why we do it like this so all I've done is put these toilet rolls into this seed tray so they've obviously got an empty bottom we've stuffed them through full of compost really press it down I've given them a good watering and then just sort of let it soak off for a bit so these are nice and damp so if you look at the parsnip seeds hopefully they won't blow away the parsnip seeds are tiny sort of paper-like seeds. I normally put two or three in each toilet roll just to allow for the often poor germination rates that you get. You can then get a tiny pair of scissors and chop off the other two even if you get all three without disturbing them. So I found that's the easiest way. If you start pulling things out then you might disturb the one that you want to keep. So all I literally do is, so I'll put three seeds like that on top of my toilet roll so we'll just do a couple more so you can see on here you can see there's, there's there is compost in between the toilet rolls I'm not going to plant them there because obviously I don't want to have to pull them out and get them disturbed but it just means that the toilet rolls themselves don't fall over and they don't dry out as easily as well so I always just completely fill it up so I'm just going for two or three usually I do three because the seeds are quite cheap and you get loads Try and make sure you're using fresh seeds to sow parsnips. That really helps with the germination rate. So these ones were for sowing this year. If you're gonna use seed that's not for like this year's planting, just put four or five in. I'm pretty sure you'd still get a decent rate. Sometimes people do start them on a um, wet toilet tissue and then when they see the little sprouts they put them out but I don't bother with that I just put enough that I'm going to be able to get one so I won't finish those on the video all I then do so these are Albion one Albion F1 parsnip seeds so I also like Gladiator F1 just the um these nice F1 varieties gives gives you well, they're, they're a lot more reliable really, so that's why I tend to grow these. So sometimes grow gladiator as well. So once you've done that, this is actually quite dry compost because this is nice and wet. So what I do is I just cover them up. Don't need to be very deep like that there. Push it down so the, the top compost is in contact. It will soak the water through then anyway. You don't need to water it again. Um, and then I'll put them in the cold greenhouse. As soon as I can see the tiny little seed leaf just coming through, that's when I'll plant them out. And I usually put them out with a fleece on top because I don't harden them off or anything. I literally put them out straight away. As long as you do it, as soon as the seed leaves are just coming through, then the tap root hasn't reached the bottom. That's the key. So if you fancy having a go at this, then it's quite an easy method. It's really reliable. We do this every single year and we get some great parsnips from this. So you can definitely transplant parsnips if you're just careful with your method. So good luck. Please ask any questions on the blog if you'd like to know any more. Bye everyone. See ya.